What's going on everybody? This is Tatro here with ADSR and today we're gonna to be checking out the ADSR Sample Manager 1.5 update. Let's check it out. This new update adds a bunch of new features to the Sample Manager that makes it easier to find and use the right sample. So now you can log directly into your ADSR account and find any content you've purchased from the site. It's a fully accessible, tagged, cloud stored library that you don't have to keep on your hard drive. Once you find a sound you like, you can click the download button and use the full sample in your project. As you can see here, you can also import sample libraries from any source, whether it's ADSR, Splice, Cymatics, or something you created yourself. Point the sample manager to the local library and it will scan through. As you can see, it automatically tags all of my samples. So I had about 500 samples in that folder and it tagged all of them. So you can see how fast that was. I didn't speed that up or anything. And now looking at my entire sample library, which includes sounds from ADSR, sounds from Splice, and sounds from Cymatics, you can see all of these different sounds tagged appropriately, which means I can type up here multiple search terms. So let's say I want a vocal. It'll find me a tag for that. But then there's also genre tags. So it'll pick up on the sample's genre if the information is there and you'll be able to search by genre. In addition to being able to search by genre, you can also add your own genre tags. Once you do that, the tag you created gets added to the list of searchable genre tags. This becomes especially helpful when you're working in specific genres because if you just look up snare, you get access to many different types of snares. But if I'm working on a trap beat and I wanna specifically find a trap snare, I just add that to the search terms and suddenly I have all of my snare drums that are both tagged snare and trap. Notice that it gives you the BPM and the key and you can sort by whether it's a one shot or a loop. You can turn either of these off or have both of them. And I can adjust how ADSR Sample Manager shows me the different samples and how I sort them. So I can add or subtract columns by type, BPM, key, the length, the file size, the date added, and the tags. So I'm gonna keep that good for now. And let's say, hey, I have a few trap snares to choose from, but maybe I just want to roll the dice and have the sample manager pick one for me. So I can click roll the dice and it's picked a random one for me that I can actually now drag into my DAW. But before we get into that, let me show you how we can now manipulate the sample to be how we want it to sound before it even gets to our DAW. So down in this lower panel here, which I can make bigger, I've got all this information I can work with and I've even got a time grid here. So I can change the gain of the sample. I can add fades, that's fade in and fade out. And then I've also got a filter which I can turn on and I can add a high pass filter or a low pass filter. I'm also able to normalize samples. Notice right here we have an option for link, that's Ableton link, which if you don't know, that's a system created by Ableton so that you can sync multiple live projects in real time. And I'll show you what I mean. With link turned on here, I can already turn it on in my DAW, Ableton Live of course, and it will automatically link to ADSR's tempo. You can see 114 here matches the 114 of the sample manager. And if I change that, it will also change within my DAW. So while Ableton Link is helping us make sure our project is in sync with sample manager, we can also make sure that sample manager knows what key our project is in. And if I make sample manager full screen here, I can go to the bottom and we can check this key box here. And the key of my project is D minor. So I'm gonna go ahead and set sample manager here to D, which reflects the loop that I have over here. And now as I'm scrolling through samples, sample manager knows that I want my samples to be in D minor. It's worth noting here that when we're linked up, we can have this quantized to any beat that we want. So it doesn't have to just cue the samples in on the downbeat. We can choose 
any different beat that we would like the sample to come in on. I'm gonna crop this sample in a little bit here, and as you can hear, even though the sample's labeled A minor, if we have sample manager set to D minor, it will go ahead and put it in the correct key for us. We'll go ahead and turn that up. Add a bit of gain. I'm gonna use just this first portion of the sample add a little bit more gain to it, and let's drag it in. And I'm gonna duplicate that. If I actually make this sample a little bit bigger, you can see that within the sample title, it's actually put some of the information here. So it notes that we went from F sharp minor to D, and I added seven dB of gain. So to show you all of this syncing together, let me play you some loops from the Launchpad app on my iPad, along with Ableton Live, and show you how it's all synced up using Link. So here's a hi-hat loop on my iPad. Let's go ahead and play the DAW. And notice if I go into Sample Manager, and I change my tempo, Everything changes. It's also important to note here that I'm running the ADSR sample manager in standalone mode. You can also run it as a plugin within your DAW, which eliminates the need for link. It'll automatically be synced up with your DAW if you're loading it up as a plugin. The sample manager is also able to receive MIDI input, so if you have a controller like I have my launch pad, I can trigger samples in the sample manager in real time with my controller. And then within your DAW, if you were running Sample Manager as a plugin, you could have a MIDI pattern set and just change the sample accordingly. Your musical idea would stay the same, the sound of the sample would just change. So that's a look at the ADSR Sample Manager 1.5 update. And you can download the Sample Manager completely free at our website. The link is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Tatro for ADSR. Have a good one.